Hello everybody, my name is Julian of Flow Graphics and this is a pretty cool video today. I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own website. So all of you out there that are graphic designers, uh, illustrators, photographers, 30 artists, even like music producers, or any sort of creative, I'm going to show you how to make your very first sort of portfolio or even if you have one now and you're looking to sort of upgrade or make one or even make it look a bit better, uh, I'm going to show you how to make one using Wix because I made my own portfolio years ago using Wix and I've always used them ever since. So they reached out to me and they're like, yo, you want to show everyone how to make uh, their own portfolios? And I said, absolutely, because I use it myself and I couldn't have liked it anymore. This, this is my website right now that you can see. So I've got all sorts of projects that I've worked on and things and you can click on them and they've got all these sort of project pages and stuff. Uh, and yeah, it looks pretty cool. And then I'm going to show you how to make this website here from scratch um, using all the sort of the Wix things where you can have your own store selling stuff obviously you'd replace all the photos and everything you can have this sort of portfolio with projects and fully customize it and you can work off a template and then really take your time to perfect and make everything exactly the way you want it through the whole system um, and the editor that Wix has which it, which is really awesome this is the whole reason why I started using Wix to begin with so look let's just get straight into it uh, once you've actually made a Wix account just click on edit site and we can start creating you can use that ADI or you can use like a template designer um, so I'm gonna click on design here some graphic designer I think it'll sort of start it in the right direction but depending on what site you can uh, you want to make you can pick sort of a category that will sort of guide you in that direction so we'll click designer we're going to use the Wix website editor this ADI thing is pretty cool it pulls from a bunch of sort of like intelligence and pulls from your Google profiles and all that sort of stuff makes the website for you but the templates are really good honestly I think the templates are amazing so usually when I make the sites I just start with a template uh, like you can see there's pages and pages and pages of them and they're all really professional they look awesome and everything's set up for you so it makes it pretty easy so let's just pick one of these I, don't, I like this architects one so what you can do is you can just hit view on any template and then you just view it like a normal website so we've got nice sort of top bar here logo our menu portfolio that's good okay so we've got some portfolio projects here even got a chat bar um, some news I think it's a good starting point so I think what we could do is maybe I'll make a portfolio for myself like a digital art photography based portfolio um, I'll set up all these projects with some of my projects. Uh, maybe we'll add a store and some other sort of pages too. So what you can do is just click edit site and that will sort of copy over everything from that template into your own Wix account and then you can actually start editing that as a great sort of platform to begin with and then add all your customization and everything uh, to that once you're ready. Wix is pretty straightforward. You just click on stuff and then you can edit it. So if I want to, let's say, change this text that says architects, I'll click on it. I can animate it. I can edit um, and then I'll just type in flow graphics there um, and you can see I can change the font color and all that sort of stuff so I'll select that make it like a maybe a blue yep let's make it a sort of dark blue color um, same with this sort of menu up here so I can click on the menu click this little sort of design paintbrush thing and that will change all the different styles so they've got all these presets but I could just do customized design I can change what color uh, things appear when I hover over them maybe like a light blue and then when they're clicked we'll do that sort of same blue that I did my name and then the regular will just be sort of like a dark gray black sort of color uh, and you can see how easy it is to start setting this stuff up so even with this I can delete this logo and then we go add on the left thing here image because uh, I just want to add one of my own logos so I go my image uploads and then I'll go upload media I'm going to drag on my logo here and then once the logo is uploaded you can just simply drag it onto the page it takes two seconds to do my internet's apparently a little bit slow at the moment so we'll go add to page and it'll just instantly add that so I can just scale that down like you can see you just click and drag to edit stuff within Wix uh, it's pretty straightforward because it's all just based on the user interface so you don't actually require any knowledge of coding or that technical experience though you still have all of the functionality and all the options and everything that you would get with a program that it does have sort of like an upfront coding uh, sort of requirement to use it because you just click on things even this background here that's made for me change page background we'll do image same thing I'll do upload media and then I'll drag in like a photo that I took so that will upload there let it process Wix also automatically sort of um, reduces file size and optimizes them for the web which is awesome so you don't have to concentrate too much on that uh, and then that will change the cover here I can even go settings and I can change the position maybe I want to make it yeah there we go that's a bit better 
Uh, and actually that looks pretty cool already. So what I'm gonna do is basically just go through, I'll try to take around 20 minutes or so to go through the website and customize it all and make it sort of look like an actual website for me. And like you can see, all the template, it's all set up for you already. But if you wanna go to the pages, it's on the top left here, and you can see they've already got all the projects set up. So if I was to click on this sort of project here, um, so if I go preview quickly, um, this sort of previews the site, what it's actually gonna look like. You can see my nice little thing there. Um, and if I click on this project here, uh, I'm assuming it's gonna, here we go. Yeah, it takes me to a project page all set up. So it's just like my website. That's how sort of I structured my portfolio at the moment where there's all the projects you can click on them, takes it to a dedicated page with a bit more information. So now I'll try to take around sort of 10, 15 minutes to customize this website, make it my own and show you just how quickly you can get your own website up and going. And I'll show you sort of how I added some of the cool stuff. I think I might even add a storefront maybe in case I wanted to sell digital art or anything like that. So I'll show you how I go about it and I'll check back in with you in just a few minutes. Okay, so I think I'm around seven minutes in. I wanted to really quickly show you how to add a store because I'm about to do it. So I'll quickly scroll past that, pretend you didn't see that. Uh, then we'll go to add and then store right here and then go add to site. And it will automatically add all of like the product pages and the store to your menu and all that. So all you have to do is set it up. It's just like the template that we imported to begin with. It will actually add all the content for you. And then all you need to do is customize it. So it makes life pretty easy. So it's going to do its thing and just sort of think for a little bit while it adds everything to your site because it's got to add a fair bit and get it all set up for you. And then once that loading is done, all you can do then is we can just drag in like a little um, sort of grid to actually show off our products on our main page. Oh, okay. So yep, it just finished. So I'll close that and you can see it's actually added shop to the top bar here and it's added a little store page here. So if I go back to home, uh, I'll scroll past this, pretend you didn't see that again. And then we'll go to add and then I will go to store. And then you can see there's these product galleries. So I can do like a slider gallery, for example, and we'll drag it in here. And then it's gonna have all the products here. And then I could make this like a full width gallery. So I could go layout and then I could go stretch to full width. Um, and then if I make it have like a background, um, like this, you can see it's actually added in all the products. So I'm gonna go through now and just customize this to make it go with the theme of the rest of my website. But I just want to show you the steps of actually adding a store to your Wix site for the first time. Okay, so I went a little bit over time. Uh, I went, it took me around 20 minutes to make this. So if I go to preview up here, we can have a look what I made in 20 minutes. So we've got a cool site here, flow graphics is working sort of menu up here. I've even got like a cart and a profile section where you can log into the site, see what products you purchased, all that sort of stuff. We have uh, my featured product projects. So all these are sort of clickable projects to go to a project page. So I've got you know, a photography project, illustration, 3D, more illustration, um, and then some featured products. So I've got this nice sort of bold button to go to my store, little sort of product scroller here that you can look through some products. Uh, and then a contact form in case anyone wants to contact me for um, you know, projects or anything like that. Uh, and then if we go to the actual portfolio page, it's basically just like a big long list of all of my projects that I can view and then go into and, um, and see those project pages. And then I can go to the shop and I've just created a quick little storefront here. We've got this cool little video of the thing here. It says 3D models for games and then view here and that could sort of link to some of the models that are best selling at the moment or something like that. Uh, and then we have a list of all of our products, which obviously you'd, you'd change. But it's pretty incredible that you can even make any website in 20 minutes, let alone like a, a really cool looking site like this. So this is a reason why I sort of really wanted to work with Wix is because I've made all of my websites with Wix. Uh, you can go back through the very beginning of time of my YouTube channel and you'll see that I was posting my julianball.com, which is just my name, um, which has always been my Wix website. So... Yeah, look, I, they've done wonders for me. Um, I've always really, really liked the platform. So that's why I, I, it was such a pleasure to actually be able to show you guys the sort of the benefits of it and give you guys a little sort of brief tutorial on how you can make a site like my site for yourselves. Look, I suggest you guys get on it. Uh, go to the description down below and you can sort of have all the details and I'll show you how to actually get your own site up and running. If, if you don't have a website already, it's an awesome place to start. That, that's why I wanted to make this tutorial because it was really useful for me. So I, I hope it can be useful for you guys too. So as always, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have an amazing day. It's been Julian or Flow Graphics here. See ya.